Hi, I'm Dr. Joe Vitale, and I'm very excited to talk to you right now because I want to teach you how to attract money now. It doesn't matter what's going on with the world, it doesn't matter about the economy, it doesn't matter about the banking system, it does matter about you, and it does matter about how you use what I'm calling the law of attraction to attract money into your life. Now stay with me, I'm going to teach you how to attract money. Now first of all, who am I? Dr. Joe Vitale. Maybe you saw me in the movie, The Secret. This movie has been on Oprah three times, Larry King twice, it's been all over the world, it's a bestseller as a book and as a movie. Maybe you've seen some of my books, including Expect Miracles, one of my most recent books. Maybe you've heard of me because of the book Zero Limits, fascinating story about a man who healed an entire ward of mentally ill criminals by learning how to love and forgive them. Maybe you know of me because of my book Life's Missing Instruction Manual, the book you should have gotten when you were born. Maybe you know me because of my best-selling book, which is the book that got me into the movie The Secret, The Attractor Factor. This has five steps for creating wealth in your life right now. This has been a bestseller for many, many years. But the real reason that I'm here and what I want to talk to you about is my latest book, Attract Money Now. Now, I'm not here to sell anything to you. I'm going to give you access to this book. I'm going to tell you how you can read this book on your own. Yes, there are hardcover copies available. I'll tell you how to buy that if you want. But I'm going to give you the formula. And in fact, I'm going to give you the seven-step formula that's revealed in this book. I'll give you access to it. And I'm going to teach you most of it right now. So what's going on with money? First of all, you may have lost your job. Maybe you're concerned about your job. Maybe you've lost your banking account, your stocks. Maybe you've lost your pension. Maybe you're concerned about all of this. I can pretty much divide my life up into before meeting Dr. Joe Vitale and after meeting Dr. Joe Vitale when it comes to attracting money. When I met Joe, I was living in a single wide trailer in a trailer park. And I got evicted from that trailer because I couldn't make the payments of $385 a month. And my son and I were pretty much homeless. Hi, I'm Brenda Young and I have written my first ebook called The Secret to Life 101. I'm also a musician as well as a coach, mother of two, and happily married wife. But it wasn't always that way. Back several years ago, I was challenged in a very difficult area of life that I know many of you are now, and that's in my finances. I was really struggling. My husband and I had lost our jobs. We had two properties to support, and we had just filed bankruptcy. I was not sure how we were going to make it through. And if you've ever been in that position, you know that it will affect your relationship, it will affect your health, and all of that was deteriorating in my life. It was very challenging. I wasn't really sure where to turn or what to do. I began reading a lot of books, trying to find out what I could do that would help make my life better, make our life better. Hi, my name is Scott York. In 2005, I was working in the corporate world as a manager, working too many hours, and not seeing my family enough, not working for as much money as I felt like I needed, and I was really at a crossroads in my life. I wasn't following my passion, and deep down I knew that I needed to follow my passion in order for my life to blossom and to bloom. Well, what can you do about it? In my seven-step formula, which I reveal in my book, Attract Money Now, I tell you exactly what you need to do to get out of this mess. This can make you immune to what's going on in the economy out there. Forget the media, forget the news, forget what everybody else is talking about and complaining about. What you have to do is find the courage within yourself to get out of this and to start to attract money. Now, I mentioned what's called the law of attraction. What is that? It's not woo-woo, it's not metaphysical, it's actually a law of psychology. I'm Victoria Ballou Schaefer, and I own Pedal Ranch Publications and Pedal Ranch Productions. You can find us at PedalRanch.com. I always knew intuitively that there was an energy that connected everyone and everything. I never had a name for it until I read The Attractor Factor that Joe Vitale wrote. And suddenly it was defined for me. I knew that it was the truth, what I was reading. I understood finally what it was that connected us and everything around us, that the law of attraction allows us to consciously create our lives. And from that moment forward, it changed my life forever. 
When I worked with Joe Vitale's programs, I was actually able to get some sense of hope, so some sort of possibility. And from there, I just kept pushing. I was committed to this getting better. It has to get better. So one of my other favorite techniques is called netherizing, which I understand it's going to be in Joe's new book. So it's basically something as simple as taking a visualization and adding emotion to it, really getting into the feeling of it. That for me has worked so well, and I'm so glad there's a name for that because for so long I was calling it emotionalizing. I didn't know what else to call it, but it. It really helps you anchor those vibrations of what you really want to attract in your world. I found that if it's love that you want to show up, just get into the feeling of already being in love, and then it shows up. If you want love, get into the feeling of what it's like to already be wealthy, and that's what shows up. What's amazing to me is I'll get into that state, maybe in a meditation or before I get out of bed, I'll just get into gratitude and start. Nevelizing what I want to create, and one of the first things that comes to mind is more income, more money. And sure enough, I'll go check my email, and there's more money. I'm always amazed, and it happens just like that. This is a God-given power, but most people don't know how to use it. I didn't know how to use it. I was homeless 30 some years ago. I was in poverty for the longest time. I didn't know the law of attraction. You probably don't know the law of attraction, but you can learn it. I can teach it to you. I'm going to show you how you can use this in your life to attract money. Now I'm going to do it today, right now. You're going to find this hard to believe, but your mindset is what attracts money. Money will match your mindset. Now, what does that actually mean? It means your beliefs about money. About yourself, about deservingness, or what influences whether you have money in your life right now or not. Now, this is not your fault. This is not something you are to blame yourself for or to feel guilty about. You've been doing this and learning this process unconsciously. You learn beliefs about money and deservingness from family and friends, from the school system, from the government, from the media, from religion. Most of which wasn't being done or taught to you to actually help you prosper. It was done to help you survive, but it's barely achieving that. If you really want to attract money now, you have to begin with the first step in my formula that I reveal in my book, Attract Money Now. And that first step is to turn your mind into a money magnet. Right now, it's not a money magnet. It's probably repulsing money, repelling money right now. So why is that going on? Why are you sitting there worried about money? Why are you paying attention to the media? Why are you having job concerns or job worries at this point? What's going on? Well, what's going on is between your ears. Now, please don't be offended. I had to learn this myself. I am teaching you how to do this now. If you stick with me, this will begin the process to change your mind so you can attract more money now. So let's look at some beliefs that might be operating. This is going to be shocking to hear, but almost everybody has this belief, and it's the belief: I don't deserve it. Now, when you first hear that, it's like, oh, come on! I deserve money. I deserve a job. I deserve a good home. I deserve family and happiness. Maybe you can say that consciously, but deep down, unconsciously, you don't value yourself. This is across the board. Every single person I've talked to, people in my miracles coaching program, people who read my books or see me on TV or in the movies, and they write to me, they're all saying the same thing. When they start to look inside of their gut, in their heart, a part of them doesn't believe they deserve success. A part of them believes they're not worth it. A part of them believes they're not lovable. Now, go ahead and argue with me if you like. But if you're not happy right now, if you're not prosperous right now, if you're not attracting money right now, most likely it's because you have a counter belief in your mind. Now, this is something I've discovered, and I tell everybody if they'll listen to me, is that we have counter intentions. Consciously, you might say, "I want a new job. I want more money." I watched The Secret. I know about the law of attraction. I read your books, Joe Vitale. But I'm not getting everything that I want. You know why? 